Hello, we're going to be looking at doing some Boolean algebra where we're going to focus on factoring out an expression into a product of some solution. We're going to be using two main theorems in order to solve this problem. The theorems we're going to be using is that x plus yz can be expanded into x plus y and also an x plus z. The second theorem we're going to be using is that xz plus x bar y can be expanded out to x plus y and x bar plus z. So these are the two fact, the two different theorems that will be important. Okay, so let's start off with an expression and let's have our expression be a b plus a bar b bar c plus b bar c bar D plus B, C bar, D bar. Now, when we start with this items, we're going to look for how to expand it out into using the two theorems that we have. So items we're going to focus on is I want something with an X and an X bar. If we look at these expressions that we have, B is the item that shows up in every single term. And we're going to use that to our advantage. Okay, so let's start by looking at where we can start pulling out from first. And where we're gonna pull out from first is let's separate into two pieces. One that is on a B and one that's on a B bar. So let's start off by focusing on this two B items and we will factor this out. So what we're gonna do is pull B out. If we pull B out, we will get B. A or C bar, D bar. Then I can have the other three terms remain unchanged. Now, I'm going to focus on getting to a B bar. I'm going to focus on these two terms here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pull out B bar. So I'm going to pull out B bar. I'll get B bar and it with a bar C or C bar D. All right, so now we're starting forming up that we have this X and X bar. Now I wanna work on the middle, the items in parentheses and try to expand those into a product of some term. So let's start with here and say, let's have A, B, X plus C bar B, a Y and D bar B, a Z. So I have an X plus Y, Z Using our theorem, so we see that x plus y, z can be expanded out into two product of some terms. That gets expanded to x plus y, x plus z. So let's use that information. Now I have b with a or c bar, a or d bar. Plus, and let's keep the other term exactly the same. Now let's focus on this, on this item. In parentheses, we want to focus on, let's have C be an X, C bar be an X bar. And this follows in that we have an X Z, an X bar Y. And that comes out to be X or Y with X bar or Z. Okay, so we'll use that. Continue writing down the first term unchanged. We're gonna expand out the second term. X with C plus Y is our D. X bar is C bar and our Z is A bar. All right, so we're doing good so far. I have four product of some terms, but I'm still have this OR gate in between. I'm gonna try working on this OR gate. All right, so if we're gonna work on this OR gate, I'm gonna use the same expression as what we did above. My B is an X. This two terms of A or C bar, A or D bar, that is my Z. My B bar is my X bar. And the other two terms become my y. 
And what is that going to be expanded out to? It's going to be expanded out to x or y, x bar or z. Okay, now that we have these items, let's expand that out. I have B or Y. Y is C or D, C bar or A bar. If the terms of B e bar plus A or C bar, A or D bar. Each of these individual terms is an x plus a y with a z, which expanded out to x plus y, x plus z. So I get b plus c plus d, one term, b plus c bar plus a bar, a second term. Copy down this last term. On this last term, again, it is an x plus y with a z, x plus y, x plus z. And we will have a final product of some solution. All right, and that's how we can get to being a product of sums.